Okay, today we're going to be swapping out a bell on this motor. This is the 533 heads up motor and I smacked it at the night spot. So you can see it does not spin freely anymore. It binds up right there. But I have a new bell right here that comes in one of these packages. And that also comes with some spare C-clips. Now, if you have a motor with a screw on the bottom, it's very easy to replace a bell like that. You just unscrew it, put the new bell on and you're off to go. But if you do have a motor with a C clip uh, can be a little challenging to be able to swap. So what you're going to want to do in order to get that off is just get a pair of pliers, needle nose if you have them, and rip this thing off. We're not going to worry about reusing this C clip. These bells come with replacement C clips. So just get this off any way that you can. Don't worry about if you rip it. A little pair of snips or something to lift these little tabs up makes them a little bit easier to grab. So I'm gonna pull it like that and you can see that now it's bent. So this is a bit basically gonna be trash. And boy, that sucker's, now here's the little washer. You can reuse this part. It can be a little challenging to pull it apart. So I'm just gonna use these and now we have it out. This is now our bad bell that we're gonna to put to the side. They are gonna start making these with screws, so this process will be easier. But for anybody that has a C-clip motor, um, this is what you're going to wanna do. You're gonna take the new bell, put it on. Now before you put everything back together, you're gonna to wanna to try to spin it. Make sure that it spins freely, just in case this uh, base got damaged, but it spins freely and it's fine, so it doesn't need to. It still sounds great, so the bearing is totally fine. You're gonna wanna put that washer back in there, and now we're ready to actually put the C-clip itself. So we're gonna take one of these C-clips, and in order to fit it on there, I'm gonna need to open it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna take the other side with the snips and be careful not to actually cut it. I'm just gonna use it to grip it. If you had two sets of pliers, that would work better. So you just wanna separate it enough to where it fits over this. Then you're gonna use your needle nose to seal it back. So if you have some tweezers, you can kind of line it up right there and you wanna be able to push it over that post. And it's a little tricky. So here's another trick that you can do is put some tweezers in there till it's a little tight and then just kind of pull. Now it's open a little bit wider. Now it's on there, but it's not tight. So now we can take this on the outside and push it closed, push it closed. Now we can take the needle nose get on the outside and push it closed. Once they're kind of touching, then you can see that it's done and we're gonna give it a yank. Make sure that it's on there firmly. It is, we're gonna give it a spin. Now this is good as new. This is gonna go into my spares bag that I keep for swapping motors quickly in the field. This is the MR30 version of this 533 heads up motor, which makes field swapping motors super, super fast. And that's how you do it guys. Oh yeah, what we got here, we got a piece of the Racer 4 URL quad that looks like a piece of the canopy. And I found it over there where that yellow gate is, in between the trees on the ground. So all I'm trying to figure out is which one. I don't know, Yvonne said Neil broke two of them, so... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I know it was a lot It was of... bad because he couldn't fly them. <laughs> yeah, so like, here it is. I'm sorry, we could have glued it, taped it, but I don't know, yeah, I don't think so. Put a little duct tape, it's yeah. all good. A little glue, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that is crazy. 